It is my great pleasure to share with you our research on genetic variants in microRNA pathway genes modifies ovarian cancer risk and survival and treatment response. And this is a collaborative study between Texas Southern University and the uh, MD Anderson Cancer Center. Ovarian cancer is the fifth leading cause of cancer deaths in, the, in women in the United States. And uh, one of the major risk factors is family or personal history of cancer, indicating that genetic components contribute to ovarian cancer risk. And uh, indeed, the known hereditary risk factors include several known well-known mutations. And however, the common genetic polymorphisms and their role in ovarian cancer risk and clinical outcome are not well studied. And uh, in addition, the chemotherapy resistance is the major cause of treatment failure for this disease. So recently, the involvement of, macro, of microRNA in the human cancer development has been brought much attention. And microRNA are small non-coding RNA molecules with about 22 nucleotides, and it regulates global gene expression, and it can regulate as many as 200 <coughs> gene targets for each microRNA. And this regulation of these pathways have been found to contribute to tumor genesis in human tumors and also in animal models. So we believe that the genetic variations in the microRNA relevant genes or the potential target gene may modify the cancer risk and the, the treatment response. And in this study, we studied a total of 417 ovarian cancer cases and 417 controls. So among the 219 SNPs we studied, and we found that 12 SNPs were significantly associated with ovarian cancer risk. And that the strongest association was found in the GEM4, which is a microRNA processing genes. And among the 12 SNPs, six of them were associated with significant reduced ovarian cancer risk, and six of them were associated with significant increased risk. For example, the SNP in the GEM4 was associated with a 29% reduction on ovarian cancer risk. However, a SNP in the Keras gene, which is a proto uncle gene, has, uh, was associated with a 26% increased risk for ovarian cancer. And interestingly, we also look at uh, these SNPs and their association with clinical outcome. And out of the 219 SNPs we studied, we found these 21 SNPs were significantly associated with ovarian cancer survival. And the strongest association was found in a SNP in the PDGFC gene, which is a growth factor signal genes. And you can see, and this SNP was associated with a 2.7-fold increased risk for death. And also the TLR4 genes, which is the immune gene, was also associated with poor survival. And however, the SNPs in the Keras genes was associated with a better survival. And in addition, we also look at, at these SNPs and their association with the cis planting the platinum-based chemotherapy. And interestingly, we found that these three SNPs highlighted in red was associated with the treatment response. And for example, these SNPs was associated with poor response to chemotherapy treatment, and but the carous genes was associated with a better treatment response. And these are some examples of the survival curve. And for example, here, in the, the SNPs in the PDGFC genes, which is a growth factor, uh, factor signal genes, and the variant genotypes was uh, associated with significant poor survival. The median survival time is only 20, uh, about 24 months. However, for the wider allele the containing genotype, the median survival time is 53 months. It's significantly different. And also here <coughs> in these genes, 
And uh, this is the immunogenes, and the variant genotype was the median survival term is about 35 months, but for this group, the white type genotype, the median survival term is about 53 months. And again, it's significantly different. And uh, interestingly, we also look at, at the accumulated effect of these unfavorable genotypes. And as you can see, as the number of unfavorable genotype uh, increased, the median survival time is decreased. Here, for this group, the median survival time is 24 months, but for this group, the median survival time is 150 months. Therefore, in summary, we found that the genetic variations in the microRNA pathway genes can contribute to ovarian cancer risk and the treatment response and the survival. And, the, 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 and also, these SNPs can work independently and also jointly. And for future uh, validation study from an external population is warranted for this funding. Thank you.